Good morning. I'm Obizi. I'm walking across America. Today is day 30. 30 days. That's like the month marker. Been out here for a month. Good thing about today is that uh, we uh, in the middle of farm. So no one's bothering us here. Look, I found this little mountain, so that's why I went behind it. There you go. Still just taking down my tent. It's been a slow morning. I got worried maybe some farmer would come out and see me. But I just didn't care. Like whatever happens, happens. And I could go back into town to have a Burger King with Wi Fi. But I think this morning I'm going to just push forward because I'm not in a great mood. Like I'm feeling a little, for some reason, just a little down and I don't want to get stuck in that feeling. So hopefully, if I just push through walking, you know, I'll get, I'll get over it. We're getting back onto the road, I was beyond that hill. I just remembered how much I hate this road. Well, it looks like this home farm center restaurant's open. Grab me some breakfast and bounce on to victory. Uh, I'm gonna eat chocolate chip and banana pancakes. I'm having some iced tea. So, uh, I had breakfast here with these welcoming people. All right, see ya. Bye-bye now. All right. All right. A person on a horse and buggy just passed me. I forgot to record myself walking through this town. It's an uh, interesting place. It's not too busy, but it's just down in the middle of nowhere, really. With all these houses, I guarantee you, in a couple of, like in less than a mile, it's just gonna be straight farms. Strange though. Still got towns like this. When you're on the road, it's really hard to grasp the reality of what you're doing. The fact that you don't know where you're going to be tomorrow. So everything is in, very much in the moment. And when you're living in the moment, there's this distance because you're constantly thinking about what I need to do next, that you're also separated from the moment. Like I walk by so many nice views, but it's strange. I don't feel like I'm actually doing what I'm doing walking across America. I feel like I'm on autopilot sometimes. So my, so I feel different way, different times. I'm just explaining how I feel right now. I feel like I'm on autopilot. I don't know where the autopilot's taking me, but I know a certain set of rules that I need to follow. I don't have to follow them, but if I do this, this, and this, that, that, and that will happen. So I've heard about a lot of uh, that place I stopped at to grab breakfast. Told me that Reading is a very dangerous town. They kept saying all this stuff about drugs. And I'm going to stop in there. It's about nine or eight miles away, so yeah. I hate vlogging on this road. There's so many damn trucks. You know, I'm walking here. I'm thinking, let's just go in this food mart. We got tomatoes and peanuts. And all this stuff is lemons, peaches, and this. Yes, yeah, so I got this peach. Um, it's a white peach. Just, just now, I met this guy named Alex. He's a broker around these parts. Reading area, 
Um, he owns this real estate company and he just rolled out his window and was asking me what I was doing. I told him, yeah, I'm walking across America. Nothing big. Um, <laughs> actually, it's kind of big, but anyway. Uh, and he's like, oh, what? No way, that's sick. He asked me if I need water, I'm good. Turns out he also owns a gym in Reading where I'm heading, but that I wanted to take a break for a couple hours. So, he said I could use his gym. Uh, they have, he has got Wi-Fi showers and there's a laundromat nearby. That's perfect. I'm going to wash my clothes, shower in the gym. Yeah, and it's it looks like it's going to be three more hours until I get there. But he said he'll be over there in an hour and a half. So I guess I'll be there. Might take me a little while though. There might be no sun today. And for some reason it's not raining. The humidity is real bad right now. It's just like sweating everywhere. So I was just walking and uh, this guy Sosa um, saw me earlier in the day and then he passed me again just now and he he decided to offer me a ride but or something but I'm walking. No, so. if you want, I'll take you to where you're going. Yeah, but I'm, I'm walking. That's oh, the thing. Right, yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, man. That's cool. Hey, no problem, man. Take care. All right. So there's the McDonald's over there. I'm uh, going to grab, jump in there, just grab a quick drink, freshen up. Then I will be heading to this guy's gym. I'm just sitting here trying to get the maximum out of my McDonald's drink. Um, filled up again before I left. It's going to get quite annoying carrying this thing around. That's crazy. I almost forgot to record because I'm in such a rush. It's about to rain. Um, I am in Reading now. It's pretty similar to Allentown, but a little bit different. There's not as much traffic everywhere. There's that street, Buttonwood Street. We're heading up that way. Here with uh, Alex, Alex Patensis. This is his gym. Come on. Show he, uh, the gym. Come on, he's man. letting me uh, shower up and rest up, get refreshed here. So yeah, this is the that's it. the gym. There's a boxing. Yeah. I don't want nobody talking between the green. This is crazy. I'm in the middle of the city, got hooked up in like a inner city gym. I'm gonna use the shower. I'm gonna be the first one to use this shower. So another plus. Everything's pretty sick right now. Alright, that's the city up there. You can see. Be back short. So apparently I just showered up, cleaned up. There's a laundry mat about a block over this side. I'm gonna head down there. I'm in the laundry mat. Uh, I just got a warning on my phone saying that there's going to be a flood. I'm going to wait until this shit stops. Look up there. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know. This is. I see it. I just hope I don't get stuck here. Yo. Look at all that water here. Yo, it's coming from the river. Deal. Apparently, there's some river here. 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 I'll show you. Oh my god. Oh, look at the tomato. This oh, river yeah. right here. Is overflowing apparently, so they send out a little bit. I don't know, I might get stuck here in this laundry mat. We're here for a flood and a tornado walk. And so, what time? Hey, but uh, the rock is up. Oh, you mean this? Look at it, look at it. Looks like a tornado. I don't think that's tornado. Yeah, it is. He's just showing and she's watching the news. He told her watching TV. My sister's watching TV. Sure. We're looking for a tornado watch and a flood warning. I don't think there's going to be a tornado. Uh, well, if there is, it's not going to hit us because it's, it's um, uh, east of here. So uh, this is Star City Gym, and they're going to tell us a little bit about what they're about. How are you, man? My name is Alex Patanzas. This is my wife, Monica. Monica Rios. And this is our group right here, the body, the boy up. And uh, we're here, man, trying to just uh, impact our community uh, through a boxing gym that we created. Trying to get the kids off the streets and get them to spend time here around positive people, doing positive things. 
uh, staying fit at the same time and uh, hopefully taking taking the lessons learned here and taking them back to their community and, and their home and spreading the word. And uh, You're all welcome to stop here. If you're ever in Reading, Pennsylvania, check us out. We're at 470 Schuylkill Avenue. Star City Boxing, follow us and on I, Facebook. And I'm very proud of this kid here, man, a very courageous kid right here. You know, he told me he's uh, been walking for 30 days from Boston and we're over here in Reading, Pennsylvania. He's going to make it all the way to Miami and we're going to be following him on Facebook and his blog and uh -huh. just uh, encouraging him along the way. And, uh, all right, thank you. What are you doing here? Just wicked sick. Yeah, there you all go, right. man. What's up? Yeah, all right. All right, I'm here with Elizabeth, Elizabeth and Sasha and Alex <laughs> and me. Just in case I get famous, you know, <laughs> got your names in there. So, um, I just stopped into McDonald's. I'm going to leave. Uh, I got 10 miles to go to get to a town where I plan on probably finding a place to stay. Mm, I've already done like 22, 23 miles today. This is going to be my biggest day. But I can't stay in Reading. There's nowhere to stay. So. Uh, I just, um, what was it? Alex from earlier set me up with the place, but I just ran into Giovanni. 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 He, he runs this uh, easy auto sales business and uh, he offered me to stay here but I already got a different place but thank you man cool, cool. thank you now I got set up here so this is great because it's raining so I'm not gonna be stuck out in the rain and uh, my tent won't get soaked or anything so I'm just gonna stay here for the night it's uh, pretty sick uh, I forgot to vlog the guy hopefully I'll catch him in the morning now I'm staying here with uh, his family and whatnot. Um, yeah, so I guess this concludes the night. Um, it's so busy, keeping it real, every day, walking across America, hitting the road. Peace out, and keep living the dream, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>